you've heard of school football and basketball coaches, but our, freaks, our friends at the Lake Orion Community School District have an, an, an innovative coaching program that is getting kids excited about things like science, technology, engineering, and math. We have several students and teachers here with us. Teachers Norman Wright and Andrea Mady, and one of the STEM coaches, Andrea Brooke. Thank you guys all for being here. Welcome to Live in the D. Thanks for having us. We're so excited. This is so exciting. I love education. I love kids. I love school. So they're going to start their experiments. And then you're going to tell us what they're doing, right? That's right. So I don't know if this has ever happened to you, yes. but have you ever decorated for a party in advance and you got your decorations up and then a few hours later your balloons are all deflated? Yes. Yes. And Can so, I hold this? Yeah, so we're going to try to run a series of investigations. The kids are going to try to figure out why does this happen. They must be really smart because I are. have no idea. How <laughs> okay, so all right, go for it. Let's see the investigations. What's she doing here? Okay, so one of the things that the kids are trying to do right now is kind of problem solve. And so if we blow up balloons, then we can figure out what's inside of a balloon. And even though we can't see that around us, we can figure that out here. We can see that there's something that's taking up space. In, in this plastic container. That's right. That's what we're trying to figure out. Yeah, okay. so now that we've seen that there's something in here taking up space, we're wondering, we have a question, could it weigh anything? Is it possible that it weighs something? Okay, I know these kids are probably way smarter than me, so are we talking about the air? <laughs> <laughs> the air is taking up space, right? Right? <laughs> Teachers? Okay, it's been a long time. <laughs> All right, so they're going to scare Jason. They're, look at their, like, got their notebooks, and they're taking down notes That's and right. being super scientific about it. So we know something is taking up space. Then we try to figure out if it weighs something. That's and right. And then what? Right. And so now, once the kids have done that second experiment, they're kind of thinking if it takes up space and it weighs something, mm -hmm. it's probably matter. Right. So how could we, and you can see the boys at the end, make a model of what the inside of the balloon might look like. Oh, wow. And so they've got some little particles and they're trying to fill some different containers to represent what the mm. inside of a fully inflated balloon and a deflated balloon might look like and what the difference might be. So this be. is so cool because these are so many different ways to figure something out. That's right. It's all part of STEM. So for people who don't know, remind us what STEM is and why it's so important and so hot right now. That's right. So STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Okay. And it really is so hot right now. There's so many career opportunities in STEM. And so we talk a lot about it in school, of course, for education. But I'm sure a lot of people have heard about STEM outside of the classroom as well. Absolutely. And I mean, Look at how all the cool and creative things that you do with STEM too. It doesn't have to be just, you know how old people used to perceive it like the science kids and the fun kids. It's all fun. That's right. I'm so glad that you brought that up too because really it is all about thinking and problem solving. And so we have a very practical real world problem yeah. here and the kids are sciencing the problem to try I to figure it. out what's going on. I love it. So what makes your program different? So you started talking about football coaches yes. and athletic coaches and really just like a coach on an athletic team, a STEM coach such as myself is there for the entire process of planning the lessons. And so I'll meet with the teachers beforehand. Mm -hmm. We'll plan, we'll come up with our game plan for the lesson. And so what do we want to do to engage the students? What do we want to do to really make sure that they understand the concept? And then it's game time, which is it. the lesson. <laughs> and so during the lesson, typically we're co-teaching together. So perhaps I'll run one of the investigations with the students and the teacher might follow up with a discussion afterwards. And then we always have our post game review and so after the lesson is over we talk about how did that go what were some areas that were difficult for the students what revisions might we want to make for the next year sure. so and how do the teachers keep the kids motivated right so I think what you can see here is that everything that we do is extremely hands-on so it's all rooted in real world problems the kids themselves come up with ideas for the experiments that they're that's going great. to design and investigate that's that's amazing so teachers what's it like being a coach a STEM coach. It is amazing to have um, Miss Brooke with us and the other science coaches in Lake Orion. They help us plan out this whole method for how the kids are going to solve a real world puzzle, something they notice in the real world and all the discovery is made on their own. We don't tell them science, they figure out science and the coaches help us plan so all of that. Cool. That's so cool. So you've got a coach, you guys approach this like a team effort, but then of course we got to talk to the kids. What do you love about this? 
Well, I liked the science from the school because it was interactive, like Miss Brooks said, and how Miss Brooks taught it, I liked. I, I mean, the fact that it is interactive is so super cool to me. You got bubbles blowing, we're popping balloons. <laughs> hey guys, I gotta ask you guys too, what's so fun about this for you? Um, I like learning about gravity, because it's like really fun just like how gravity works like in space and like around like the earth and everything. And Mrs. Brooke did a pretty good job teaching it. Very cool, very cool. Future astronaut, how about you, sir? So I like it because kind of like Ellie said, it's interactive, like we used to sit at our desks and watch the teachers do the experiments, you know, that mm -hmm. stuff, and then write it down in our notebooks. But now we figure it out in groups of kids, and the teachers just kind of show us the main idea, mm -hmm. and we come up with all the answers. I love it, because in the olden days, when I was in school, that's what it was. You just watched it, observed. This is amazing and an awesome opportunity for you kids. So to learn more about the STEM coaching programs, as well as the innovative teaching they offer, visit the website, lakeorianschools.org. This is so cool. Thank you guys all so much Thank for being you. here. We appreciate you. Thanks Thank for you. having us. So cool. <laughs> Thank you. This is so cool. <laughs> that was awesome.